Hello and welcome to tutorial 6. Today I will be talking about a few important assembly instructions. The first function is the move function. This function allows you to move constants into a register or allows you to copy the value from one register to another. As you can see, this function is very valuable. This allows you to move values from register to register without having to go back through memory to do it. As you can see in the code, the value on the left denotes the destination of the value, and the value on the right denotes the location of the value you wish to transfer. The second function is also very important. It is the load register function. This function allows you to load values from memory storage into your registers. As you can probably guess, this is going to be very important because you'll be removing and placing things in memory all the time. The first thing to do in the code is to create an equate. This is a more housekeeping piece of code, as it allows us to reference a register by a more friendly name than just a series of numbers. So whenever you reference this memory location in code, it'll automatically know which one you were talking about. Next, inside the reset handler procedure, we can use the load register function. This function loads the value associated with APB2ENR into the register R0. This effectively points R0 towards the memory location associated with RCC APB2ENR. Another use for the load register function is to load values from memory. To do this, we simply add another load register function to the bottom of our previous program. What this does is it tells register R1 that it needs to load the value from the memory address stored in R0. In this case, RCC APB2ENR. R. That memory location stores the value of hex 200 and this value will be loaded up into R1. 